Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Forge of Empires uh, being attacked and being plundered, particularly in the earlier eras. Uh, this is part of the Beginner's Tip series that I have, and I'll also put this in that playlist. So there's some other uh, good things similar to this in there. So first off, I'm in my world, uh, Wallstrand, if you want to join me there. Uh, you'll notice here I first logged in, and I see my event history and it sees, shows me who's polished and motivated my buildings. You'll notice something a little bit different here. Duke of Texas has attacked my city, and unfortunately my defenses have been breached, which means he won the battle. And then right after that, immediately after that, uh, Duke of Texas went ahead and plundered my hut. And I'll show you that in just a second. I could do a replay here. I could see the video replay of the, uh, the animation of him attacking my city and winning. Um, I really don't care to see that. Um, I can go ahead and uh, visit him. Uh, or I'm sorry, I can go ahead and visit um, to see the plundering that was done there. I can go and visit Duke. I believe this here in the plunder it lets me visit Duke of Texas, and then I can go ahead and attack him if I want to do that or whatever, uh, which I'm not going to bother with right now. So let me go ahead and say, okay, I come into my city. You notice here I've got a bunch of things ready to collect, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, and you'll notice the little hut right here with that little bandit-looking guy. Uh, that's basically showing me that he has been looted. Um, also, you'll see over here, uh, he's been plundered, excuse me. Um, over here, you'll notice a little lightning bolt. This also shows me at least one of my buildings has been plundered, and it's currently not working. Click the plunder build, plunder building to repair them. And what that repair will do is it will clear the plunder, and it'll put it back into production if it's a, if it's a uh, coin-based building. Um, it'll just go ahead and reset the clock. If it is something else, like let's say it's a supplies building, um, it would let you go ahead and pick your next uh, duration. But meanwhile, he had collected the eight uh, coin that this would have produced that was ready to be harvested. So uh, you notice here I've got this one little hut, and everything else I have here is mostly Iron Age, or it is all, almost all Iron Age, and I'll speak to that in just a moment. But um, that is what happens when you get plundered. So he gets the goods, I got attacked, it doesn't hurt me, it doesn't hurt my defenses from my town or any of that. So so first off, I want to go ahead and show uh, what my defenses were that got, that got that breached, right? So if I go to my army management, you'll notice I have nobody defending my city. So I believe that the default for the game, if you didn't add anybody, see I could take my archers and I could make them my defense... Um, oops, excuse me. So I can go ahead and set up my defense of, and you can have defenders in anywhere. They could be up here in your bank or they could be in your current selected army. I can have all these people set, and I'll speak to that in just a moment as well. So uh, I didn't have anybody defending, which is fine, which I normally won't. And the reason being, and I'm going to speak to here, is they would benefit from having some type of defenders defending your city because if they attack you it gives them more resistance in their attack and they can get more points for the pvp uh, ranks based on having some some defense now if you just have the default which i believe are are two spear fighters is the minimum that it's going to put in your defense which are really easy to overrun uh, they don't get as many points and then ultimately if you get to the point where you have some uh, rogues uh, rogues don't give any points at all so it kind of diminishes the advantage for them to attack you uh, and get the points. However, uh, if they attack you, whether they get points or not, they've got an opportunity to plunder you within 24 hours. So they can do it right then and there if something is ready to take, or they can come back anytime over the next 24 hours and collect. And then obviously they won't be able to attack you for the next 24 hours from when they've when they did. Um, so in 24 hours they can come back, re-attack you, and repeat, rinse and repeat the process. First off, what unlocks the ability for them to do that, to go ahead and attack you? Okay, in the Iron Age, in the Iron Age uh, research tree, you'll notice we have a second last section here. We have military tactics, which unlocks the PvP fights. Up until this is actually uh, completed, you, people can't attack you. It's not an option. But as soon as you do that, it's available. Just this morning, about an hour and a half ago, I went ahead and, and completed that so I can move on through my development. And lo and behold, almost immediately somebody attacked me. Very, very common, especially in Iron Age um, and, you know, and shortly thereafter. And the reason being is your neighborhood is full of people in a similar situation. Uh, they don't have... Uh, the greatest production so they can go around and attack people and and plunder their buildings and so on 
So that's one thing there. So avoid minimize being attacked. Uh, A, the first way to do that is to go ahead and not unlock not unlock PvP fights in the military tactics. You can go around it. Uh, I believe you can go all the way around it here, where you can go fortifications, complete that, do chain of command. You can move into early Middle Ages without having to do that first. Uh, so, And then with that, you can get up here into tanning, and then after tanning, you could do several things. Um, so you could do, yeah, you could do three different, looks like three different things. No, you can't, no, you can't. Yeah, you go. You can do that, and you can do quarries to unlock some things that way. But either way, uh, that's one way around it. I'm actually interested in getting my uh, ballistas or ballistas or however they're pronounced. Uh, so I went ahead and completed it that way. Um, I am go ahead and finishing my fortifications because I'm going to kind of work my way around that way as well. So that's one way is don't unlock that or wait as long as you possibly can. Okay, next. First off, when they attack you, it doesn't really doesn't really hurt your 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 defenses or your troops or any of that. It's just more kind of a pride thing, I guess, if that bothers you. Um, they can attack you all they want. Some people just attack for the experience. Um, some people attack so that they can plunder. Some people do both. Um, so depending what their what their motives or if it's an opportunity thing. You notice I have this little hut here. I have that as a kind of as a bait plunder. So right now, instead of having them loot. Uh, some of my other bigger buildings that are paying 138 coin, I got this one little five minute that'll sit here, uh, and it will be plunderable almost all the time, and that gives them something if they just want to do a one-stop shop, come in, attack, and plunder. They've got something they can grab regardless of the state of everything else. That's one way around it. Let's see. Another thing you can do is you can ask the player to not plunder you, uh, you can, or you know, attack you, and you can do that. And some people it may stop. Most people won't. Um, you can ask. So either way, it's it's one of those things. Something else is you could do a counterattack. If somebody attacks you and plunders, you can immediately return return the favor, attack and plunder them ultimately if you were to win. Um, sometimes that repeating that pattern will get them to lay off. Uh, I have experienced that firsthand. Uh, let's see another option there to get them to reduce or stop doing this, or actually to stop doing this if they accept, is to send them a friend invite. If you send them a friend invite and they're a friend, you cannot attack your friends. So that's one way to lock them up um, if, if they're so inclined to accept the friend. Um, and that's kind of where they're kind of weighing out. They'll be weighing out the option of is it worth the attack and plunder or is it worth having a friend for the friend's tavern? Uh, which I personally, I think the friend's tavern is more valuable in the big picture. But different players have different approaches. That's just mine. Okay, so we already talked about minimizing rewards. Uh, first, easiest way there is obviously keep your things collected. Uh, so if you can keep things collected, they've got nothing that they can loot when they visit. They have to come back. If you if you play the timing game and you collect closer to the time that things complete, you put them on an eight-hour cycle or whatever, um, you can kind of play that game. It's a timing game, kind of cat or mouse. So that's one way around it. Okay, something else you can do is you can be defensive. You can build non-plunderable buildings. Um, and that's an example we talked about. If you've seen any of the great building videos or the that, and that series is continuing. Uh, some things like here, the Oracle, I get supplies production off of my Oracle, but that's not plunderable. So I could sit there and not collect it for three days. It doesn't matter. They can't touch it. It's, it's just kind of money in the bank waiting to be picked up. So that's another way around it. Oftentimes, people that will attack and plunder, uh, their primary target will be goods buildings. So uh, some people, that's the only thing that they will plunder is goods buildings because you're paid for eight-hour productions just for a quick attack and pickup is is worth it for them. So if you have goods buildings, make sure you keep them collected. You notice I don't have any yet. I'll probably build a couple just to get some, some production going. But when I do, I'll make sure that I'm collecting these uh, when the time is right, uh, when they're ready to be picked up so that they're not as plunderable. Uh, so that's kind of one way around it. Uh, build non-plunderable buildings. Some of the event buildings are non-plunderable. We talked about the great buildings are non-plunderable, so that kind of gives you some info there. And then last year I talked about leaving a bait building, you know, a little easy target. Uh, they can come in here, they can loot this hut. It gives them the satisfaction of getting a plunder, uh, but it really doesn't cost too much. And until I need that 4x4, four four, um, or excuse me, that two by two, it's fine just sitting there. But I just wanted to keep this one quick. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's not that quick. It's coming up on 10 minutes. But thanks for watching. If you're still watching it this late in the video, um, I have some more of these beginner tips coming. So uh, stick around and stay tuned. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.